And something else is gaining more attention and support in Washington, the driver's license medical. The General Aviation Pilot Protection Act now has 93 co-sponsors in the House and 10 in the Senate. That proposed law would allow private pilots to fly aircraft weighing up to 6,000 pounds in VFR conditions without a third-class medical certificate. And more members of Congress are signing on because of you. I really have to thank uh, a lot of our AOPA members who have engaged uh, in trying to get uh, their members, their respective members of Congress to support the legislation. And, uh, you know, we did a, uh, a call to action to, you know, almost 400,000 pilots. And we went from about 60-some uh, supporters almost to 100 now. And that's just over a short period of time. Now, there's the law, and then there is the possible change in regulations that the FAA said it would look at. So what's the status of the FAA effort? You know, obviously, we, we would love to have uh, to do away with a third-class medical for all general aviation pilots. I think there's just... It's an old, archaic way of doing business. I think safety will be actually be improved. But what I see going forward is the FAA moving to what we call a rulemaking process. And uh, I, I, I think that the, they should be moving forward this summer. This is going to take longer than we want it to. But I can tell you we're going to keep their feet to the fire. Congress is going to keep their feet to the fire. And we're going to try to get this done as quickly as we possibly can. Well, the pace of the federal government is glacial, and that's an understatement. The FAA has posted their timeline for rulemaking on reducing medical certificate requirements. You see it there on the screen, and if they stay on schedule, well, it'll be November before we even see what they have in mind. And if you want your voice to be heard on that medical reform, you can sign our giant petition. It'll be on display at the AOPA fly-ins and other major aviation events, including AirVenture and Oshkosh. AOPA is leaving no stone unturned in this fight. Every Thursday, we're working to get you answers. The most experienced reporters in general aviation. Bring you more details as they develop. The stories that affect you. We talk with our own safety expert. Every Thursday, AOPA Live, this week.